figured all my wisdom out for cops. <laughs> Here we go, God damn, I'm gonna buy that motherfucker. That's so wise, say a fish backward on account of the water. Every morning I will drink coffee from my cup and I'll read that fucking wise thing. That's the wisest uh, cup maker I ever come across. Uh, but then I go, fuck it, I'm not buying the motherfucker. <laughs> I'll just get a regular cup and remember that while I'm And uh, then I'll remember shit. What is things? <laughs> I remember like one time I thought you would think of a wise thing, because I think like people just stumble on them, even retards like me. Like, remember, like, so one time I was like, it's better to be, uh, uh, what was it? Better be sorry than safe. I switched them around, right? <laughs> and then when I said it, I did it by mistake. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe it's not it sounds like some wise sort would say. So then I started saying to my friend, I go, hey man, what do you think of this one? It's better be sorry than safe. Then we were going to ask him to return it. No, it's not as wise as friend. Because they knew it was me saying it. So then I started doing this thing because I was really convinced about that. And so I started walking around and go, hey man, as uh, Winston Churchill once <laughs> Sorry, say, and then they go, God damn, that's wise. And I go, it's me, your father. <laughs> and I go, it's not wise. I go, it's too late. <laughs> it is wise. I know it is. <laughs> Why is it so unbelievable that a man can't comb one wise thing out of his entire fucking life? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta learn how to use a mic stand. That's on my to-do list on how to become a better stand-up. <laughs> how to use a microphone stand. <laughs> I got a big to-do list for that. <laughs> but I love stand-up. I love the, the feeling of taking that sometimes. Just, you know, it's such a beautiful feeling of taking that a group of, uh, of people, you know, uh, and uh, and with my comedy, just transforming them into an unruly mob. <laughs> this guy's watching fucking Uncle Buck. That's <laughs> a good scene, shit, but God. <laughs> Everything's fast, and I go to go. <laughs> That's always fun when you're starting the story saying, anyway, my Uncle Bay is on him. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, Uncle Bay is of course, you know, you know, that's your, um, that used to be your husband before he died. <laughs> Anyways, I'll never forget Uncle Basil on his deathbed uh, spoke to me. It's about you, actually. I've never heard of this story. <laughs> uh, I used to pray another one. What was it? Were we saying something about Uncle Bezos or something? I know, I was saying nothing. No, you were. Uh, so I was playing uh, Sing Sing the Jane. <laughs> I got 20 uh, coins. <laughs> coins? Yeah. God damn, you're 85 year old. <laughs> that excuse me, I'm young anymore. My mom, she old. <laughs> she don't love that shit, man. It's good for old people, you know, because they get to, with the computers, fucking awesome. You know? <laughs> my mom's 80, she gets to do shit and talk to people her, her age and people 
uh, 75 years younger. She doesn't talk about a five-year-old, but <laughs> uh, huge gap and uh, keeps her going. And, you know, she sits in the chair and does that all day. And she used to sit in the chair and just do this. <laughs> so it's big, 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 big help. I got my mom with me now. <laughs> She would be from Iowa, she settled in Ottawa, and a lot of my relatives are there, and, and uh, yeah, the wonderful uh, Ottawa Valley is where, uh, where, where my heritage comes from. And, uh, yeah, goddamn right. <laughs> Last time I was here, Gord MacDonald was here, he's another fella. You know Gordy? <laughs> Gordy, are you here tonight? Fuck, are you not here tonight? What? Wait, say what you said again? Hold me, what? I'm an old man, I don't know that shit. I never caught up with like... You know that was awesome? Where you don't know what the fuck's going on. People, go, people come up and you go, Motherfucker, you're the shit. Like, Thank you. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding, man. You're shit. And you fuck your own mother. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're kind of shit. But, uh. <laughs> Sometimes they act, oh, I'm not that I'm such a big celebrity, but some, uh, some people, oh, I don't mean to buy, oh, I know all that shit. Now, this may be racist and shit, but <laughs> this is what I found with the brothers, you know, because I love the brothers, because they don't give a fuck. They don't go out there, they're, they're never like, I don't want to look like a fucking idiot, and I'm not that kind of guy, they're, they're not like that. <laughs> uh, they do a thing that I've never seen a white guy do in my life, and I don't know if you've ever seen this, but they're like this. Sometimes they better walk and run out, they just run away. Fucking <laughs> 30 blocks down. <laughs> <laughs> and then they try to tell other people don't know who the fuck I am. Well, you know all this motherfucker. Do the thing, and maybe do the thing. <laughs> oh, the brothers, man, you do the black club, the brothers are fucking funny, you know. You do white clubs, and fucking everybody's a retard. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
was obviously a bad place back then, and, uh, and uh, you know, people progress a lot of ways to say, obviously, with love, because, God damn, you got to be able to love, you know, people, to, you know, to language is going to be the only thing that stops you from loving someone. If not understanding a single fucking word <laughs> the other person says is going to somehow get between you and you know, the two. <laughs> I remember one time I came from Quebec City really bad. I walked into the Chateau Laurier, Chateau Frontenac, in Quebec City, and they said they had a language law for every English word, you had to have a French word right beside it. And so it was a hotel, you know, in the Chateau Frontenac. And it said, so anyway, it said behind the, the thing, there was a sign, it said reception, and then there was a slash, right? Reception slash reception. <laughs> we have elections like in, in, in America, and then elections that are like important because you vote for the wrong guy and the world blows up. <laughs> it's like serious stuff, you know? And that doesn't happen in Canada. Really, no. <laughs> <laughs> terrible is going to happen. But that's why I don't the vote bridge. in America. Plus, I'm an American citizen. <laughs> 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 I don't like to vote. But I wouldn't anyway, because I would not want to make the wrong decision. And then the fucking world blows up. And then, then they're like, did you vote for that guy? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's a good speaker. Uh, <laughs> Public speaker, that's the right choice. <laughs> I never voted in Canada because the, the stakes in Canada seem so crazy low. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in, in America, you talk about the election, you go, what do you vote? What's your, what's your, because we vote for a ballot, uh, you know, uh, health insurance uh, for everybody, and uh, to get out of war, get the, get the troops on, get our boys on, and uh, uh, that's what's important to me, of course, the economy. Then in Canada, you go, what, what are you voting for? And people go, well, what the fuck you think? The bridge. <laughs> Well, you got something to say to Henderson, you can see your hands up. 
And it's like, yes, I was thinking that we got a bridge. And uh, the motherfucker, like, when you go on it, there's a bump. And I go, what the fuck are you talking about? A bridge? Just sit down, shut the fuck up. And you get to stay. And I go, no. It's like the Queen. Queen is still the Queen of Canada. I didn't even know that until so told me. But <laughs> it's weird, you know, the Queen is the richest lady in the whole world. Nobody richer than the Queen, right? Now, you see uh, fucking uh, like the Arab Spring. Wait, is that Oprah or something? <laughs> like, like, she got a good chunk of change, believe me. <laughs> But you see the Arab Spring, and they got that guy Assad. He's the guy from Syria, fucking shit, and everybody yeah, fighting him, and then they fucking and he's saying that's ah, from gas, we're from a bunch of gas, and they're like ah gas. And then Malta, <laughs> Malta, and then oh my father died at the hands of Assad. My grandpa, we we're fighting him, we'll fight him to the nail, that motherfucker. We'll beat him. That's really that. Meanwhile, you got England, right? And uh, nobody got no money there, just like everywhere else. And then you got Buckingham Palace, where all the money is. Yeah, there's like a bunch, whole bunch of gold and shit. And uh, they got about half the money of the entire country. It's one family. And uh, they're guarded by like uh, six guys with crazy big free hats. <laughs> and it seems like it would be super easy. <laughs> It seems like it seems like we could do it. Just in this room, we decided to grab the wheel. And we'll be at Heathrow and we can take over that goddamn Buckingham Palace and uh, take all the gold out. Just give it to people. And uh, we're going to do that. Probably get us in the newspaper. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why that's such a crazy idea. Goddamn queens. <laughs> queens, kings. Some people like it. My grandma, she's like, she's like, I remember one time a queen had to take a pay cut or some goddamn thing. She's like, what's Lizzie calling her? Lizzie. What's Lizzie gonna do? She's all worried. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? You're eating cat food. <laughs> I wouldn't be worried about the queen. I think she would sell her fucking scepter. <laughs> she had to. I'm not too worried about that. No, uh, it's a little Canadian guy, I guess. Canada is different in a lot of ways. I was thinking. It's different when it comes to, they got a Super Bowl, it's gonna be maybe the most exciting Super Bowl, who knows? It's gonna be something else, you know? Yeah, damn, Patriots, one of the teams, that guy, you know? Uh, Seahawks, they're equal time. Argonauts, they're, uh, heavy underdog. <laughs> I grew up, of course, with Canadian football. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like, we didn't have the Super Bowl, we had the Grey Cup. It was just, just the cup that was grey. <laughs> I mean, where do you remember that name? I don't, and I don't think it was the color, I think it was a guy. It was like, I'm Lord Grey. It <laughs> was Lord, Lord Stanley. You got a cup. It's funny, I was thinking hockey's the only sport 
where they have an award that they give out every year that nobody wants to win. It's the uh, Lady Bing. <laughs> it's the worst award. It's uh, you might as well just say biggest pussy. You win this award. It's for the most sportsman-like guy. Hockey in a sportsman's game. And that's not for the sportsman, it's for the you gotta be tough, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, the, the guys who went to Lady Bang, they're the ones who just take a punch to the face. And just, uh, he gets 10 minutes, right? <laughs> cool, man, we'll be on a power plant. <laughs> they don't know what he wants to have. That's why they call it Lady. Put Lady right in the fucking title. <laughs> you the Lady one. <laughs> Six men in the playoffs. I don't know how it is now. Where there were the yes, S-Rush Riders. <laughs> the question I've asked countless times, nobody's given me the answer. Uh, there was eight teams, two named the Rough Riders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was going on. The radio guys would fuck, they'd be like, bad news for the Rough Riders. The Rough Riders have it at the 30 yard line. Stop them where the Rough Riders trip plays at this game right now. So good news for the Rough Riders, but bad news for the Rough Riders. All right, you're like, yeah, damn, baby, that's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember watching Canadian football and I go, you know, because guys seem real good, but they go, I don't know if they're good, they didn't make it in America. Maybe they're just good, like, compared to each other. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and then, then a guy would go to the States, like Warren Moon or some shit, go, God damn, guys should have been in the States the whole fucking time. <laughs> but back then, they didn't think a black guy could be a quarterback. <laughs> Turns out, a black guy can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know that back then. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> I like people who said absent for doing evil things. It was a different time. <laughs> we lynched people. Different time. <laughs> it was different, yeah. <laughs> Evil was considered all right. <laughs> You're talking about today. Back in time, machine. <laughs> you always go, hey man, if you went back in a time machine, would you kill Hitler? And you go, yeah, goddamn right. But you know what would be the worst is if you were back in a time machine. Like, I'm gonna kill a Hitler motherfucker. Then you go back in a time machine, right? And then you listen to Hitler, and then you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know how you spellbinding <laughs> second most powerful guy. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm Hitler's second in command. Something bad happened here. I went with my buddy. I murdered him. I controlled him too. Wow. An exciting game though come Sunday, man. We're beating our, our, uh, our Dip, you know, chips and dip. <laughs> Lobster of Thurman the Rodge. Watching the game. 
I like watching, I don't like parties that much. I like, I like watching people know football so I can hear the announcers and shit and I don't have to explain, you know, you know, to my mother the simplest game ever. <laughs> over and over and over. And then just people, and then uh, just for some girl walk in front of you to get to, oh, you didn't miss anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a 190 yard run back. <laughs> the guy ran back and then he forgot which way it went. He, uh, he, he dropped the football. He had to go back and get it. And then he ran again. But it's cool. It's, I'm sure they'll show it again. <laughs> I like highlights better than live. You are enjoying the lunch. <laughs> I like, I just start watching when it's a guy blah blah. That's good, yeah. I just like the commercials.
said my career is God, it's over. <laughs> Russell Wilson's uh, just making us all dinosaurs. Anyways, <laughs> why are we talking? What is this? Sports fucking talk radio show? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta involve the girls. <laughs> and the girls love sports too, we all know that. <laughs> Piece of paper, I can take them to a school. <laughs> I'm doing like got Hamilton for an hour, and I said, Hey, what's the menu? What's the menu? Hamilton's a beautiful city. <laughs> this is the, the, the aroma of the head. <laughs> what is that? Human shit? <laughs> Why my client just walked in? 
I think I should have done an exercise at some point in my life. <laughs> People advised it constantly. And I said, how about instead I eat an A? <laughs> I don't know, Dr. but I thought that, that was better for you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I am. When you get old, everything changes. And, you know. I mean, when you're real young, you're like some sort of crazy, like superhero that doesn't die and just has. You know what I mean? Like, like when you're really young, like you can lose a tooth and another tooth will grow. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen when you roll, you lose a tooth, and that's you just, uh, I don't know. Make a soup. <laughs> soup. I don't think a, a tooth's going to grow in. <laughs> like, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but people don't know when you roll what happens until you get old. Like, I spend a lot of the day going like this. What's going on with my left arm? What's going on to me? What about that? Looking for symptoms. Searching for symptoms. All the wrong place. I was, uh, the problem with symptoms is, uh, this, you know, the same symptoms, like, for instance, if you have a heart attack, one of the symptoms, is uh, indigestion. But also, uh, if you have a symptom of indigestion, that's also a symptom for uh, indigestion. <laughs> so, you know. And then, so you go to emergency and, and you go, hey, I think I might be having a heart attack. Why do I say that? I got indigestion. I go, get the fuck out. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> you have indigestion. You're like, I don't know, that's what I thought. <laughs> I see more shows. And you leave and die in the heart of it. Burning, you know, garage. And then. Uh, <laughs> and then they changed the records and they never showed up. <laughs> it's a tragedy. He died when he got out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really make much of it. If we'd only got 10 seconds earlier, I don't know anything. I cannot study. I read this thing, I read Wikipedia and shit. I never got no education. Uh, like proper, proper wise. <laughs> Fucking everything up. 
sounds like to me. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dad, yeah, man, my dad, Dad's dead. You told me that it was a simple operation. And he's like, uh, it was complicated. <laughs> it looked simple in the book. <laughs> when we were looking at the book and shit, very simple. But when we cut your dad open, wow, it's complicated. It was, uh, <laughs> Are you a doctor? I go, no, I he wouldn't get it. Uh, it's way too complicated. Even for us, it's not quite complicated. Red string stuff. It's not even in the book. You didn't mention the book. All that red string stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I go, I guess I trust them. Sometimes you ever doctors doctor just, first of all, I don't know why they do this, but they do it every time and you just accept it and you never question it. Like my mom's always like, oh, the doc says, oh. <laughs> the doc says I'm just getting old. And I'm like, well, what kind of fucking doctor is it? Why are you telling me to say that? Everybody knows you're getting old. <laughs> oh, the doctor. But uh, I said, no, no, Ma, you gotta be, you know, right on top of it. You know, it's your own thing. You gotta be responsible nowadays for the knowledge. Uh, I went to a doctor once. He said, but anyway, no, the thing I was gonna say that we just completely accept that every doctor does whenever you go to him and you just let him do it. Uh, is he hits your knee with a hammer. Now, <laughs> you'd think that would have gone away hundreds of years ago, but still they do it. I don't know what the fuck it's for. Like, they smash your fucking knee with a hammer. And then you're like, ah, fuck, my knee. And then right down, right? that's perfect. That's the That's exactly how you should respond. So, uh, I think we just accept things because, you know, they, we know they're smarter than us and the shit, and they know smarter words. Sometimes they use their knowledge of smarter words to, like, you know, trick us. Like, one time I went to the doctor, I said, hey, doc, I got this thing, man. I'm always tired, you know? And he said, it sounds to me like chronic fatigue syndrome. You know, and shit. Yeah, so, I was like, what's that? I don't know. He's like, well, chronic means all of us. T means you're tired. And syndrome, uh, that's just something you got. So, if you got 20, isn't it, the lady, you know, like the hundreds, you got to look up at them. First of all, it helps me to just hold it like this because they said I have a uh, oral fixation, which is like, <laughs> that's, that's fake, so we all know what that means. <laughs> not very funny. Or me? Whoa. Shut okay. the fuck up! I uh, didn't hear what he said. Oh, oh. Motherfucker just said you're not funny. What is going on? <laughs> No, I didn't hear what he said, so what did he say, sir? You're not very funny. Who? Oh. Is that a what? What do I give a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
box. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alone? Are you just by yourself? <laughs>
your own life, but uh, uh, you will. <laughs> and as you make a goal in life is to be a member, uh, uh, then you'll be a member. Because if they think you commit suicide, you know, I feel like, ah, yeah, why? Then they'll go, ah, but if you're just there, then they'll go, oh, mysterious. Like they, they, they think it's so mysterious. And, uh, you know, I have in my family five suicides, and uh, they say it's kind of, I'm not hereditary, but kind of runs. You know, in the family and stuff like that. I'm never going to do it, you know, but uh, uh, I've had five. And, my, and the first one was uh, my great grandfather, and he was in depression. Now, uh, he, his memory will always be alive because uh, whenever the depression comes up, you know, I'll say, God damn, people go, the depression was tough. I go, of course it's tough. What about my grandfather? Great grandfather, motherfucker. He was so broken by it that he went out into the North 40, found a serious palm tree there was, and, uh, and uh, he ended his life. His life ended on that branch, and then people go, God damn, he sounds mysterious. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I'm a pretty mysterious fucker. <laughs> now, if you have a story, let's say this is your story. Hey, my Aunt Ruth died of congestive heart disease. People go, don't tell that story no more. <laughs> you don't want to hear that story. <laughs> she sounds like an unmysterious uh, lady. <laughs> Would you, uh, think of, you use those words in the room? <laughs> Aunt Ruth? Shut the fuck up! Oh, fuck up! I mean, it's heckling each other. Hey, if Tarzan and Jane were Jewish, what would Gina be? Go back to Hamilton! <laughs> It's funny. It's funny when people are real racist and then this guy. <laughs> and, and that's alright. You know, people are racist. That's okay. You know what the bad people are? People like me that just go along with it. Like, <laughs> like you know, like racist cab drivers, which is pretty well all of them. <laughs> and so you'll be in the cab and the guy goes, you know what I don't like? Too many murder heads in this city. I don't know what it means. But I want to get to my place. That's my entire goal. So my fucking murder heads. Fucking like even exist for anyone. And he's like, you know, you know what I got on, don't you? Yeah, no, I probably. <laughs> I guess. Oh, is that what you call me? Yeah, me too. Yeah, how close are we now? You got to be getting pretty close, right? So then this guy thinks everybody agrees with him, because most of the guys are probably like me, you know? Most of the guys are probably not like, I really resent, I get out of here, all right, all right. <laughs> You gotta stand up for what you, what you believe in. Yeah. So, it's like uh, people say homophobic. I'm not homophobic. And I go, okay, but if you're not homophobic, would you, uh, your gay friend, would you fucking jerk him off? <laughs> because, you know, it's no big deal for you. <laughs> Jerking out of a guy's cock, what's the fucking big deal? It's a huge deal for him. He's real, really make him happy because you're his friend and stuff like that. But you're like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think you should. I think I'm going to do that. But if a guy, if a gay guy ever asks me, like, I want cock. 
come on in, but she names it, and we figure it all out. I say, yeah, I don't give a fuck, you know? This is, it's not hard work or nothing. Seem like a nice thing. Maybe like that could be your Christmas present. <laughs> Three jerk ass. <laughs> Some guy. Like, sometimes when you're uh, stand up, like weird sex uh, things that are throwing you away. I've never accepted them because they're always creepy, but I saw as a guy with her husband or something. I've had many times, like, a girl will be like, I really like to fuck you. I go, really? Yeah. And my husband. I go, oh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> won't do anything? No. Where will he be? In the, like the closet? <laughs> I'm a civilized human being. I evolved, like, you know, I used, to be, I used to be a monkey and shit, and a swine and all that stuff, and I finally became a human being so that I wouldn't have to do all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to be better than anybody, but I just don't want to be an animal. I try to be, I want to be better than an animal. I mean, swine. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were teachers, you know. The show ended, I don't know how long. Garbage time! I realized you had lives to get to and stuff. And so I, I, I would never be uh, hurt if, uh, if you left or anything like that. Yeah, you didn't sign up for it. Right? <laughs> yeah. So please, you know, don't, don't let me keep you. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, but I don't like going away because, like, I like being here talking to you guys. <laughs> I love doing stand-up, like I love doing my job. Norm MacDonald Live makes me feel alive. What? Norm MacDonald Live makes me feel alive. Oh, You're the best. Norm MacDonald Live makes you feel alive? You're the best. But you are alive. <laughs> I guess that should so. be a thing a dead person would say. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a wolf man. <laughs> wolf man's like, you know how you can't go to sleep like, ah, oh, wolf man's gonna get me. Oh, I'm just so scared. <laughs> but when you really start to think about it, you go, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, wait. Hey. Just by a uh, simple grade two arithmetic, if you're that afraid of a wolf man, um, you should be twice afraid of a wolf. <laughs> There's nobody afraid of a wolf. You can't sleep in something with a wolf, I guess. <laughs> or like a Dracula, shit. Like Dracula. I like a Dracula. I understand it's scary, but. I think mostly it's the way they act and shit like that. Because what can they really do to you? You know, like, they, sh they move in, like, uh, next door, you're like, ah, damn, Dracula. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? Is that what we're talking about? What the so you know, we gotta be ready, you know, for, for in case the buses are in that. You know, so, you know, 
Bernard, I get a, a, a piece of wood, two by six, I'm going to make it into a steak, you know, by squirting it. And then I'll get a mantle, a, a, a mantle, a mallet, a mallet. And I'll use the mallet, I'll use the mallet. I have dyslexia. <laughs> I, uh, so I take the mallet, and when the Dracula comes at me, because I don't have much time, because I'll just think he's a regular dude until I suddenly I realize he's a regular dude. And when he attacks me, I only have a moment, and I'll have to strike him with the uh, stake right between the, the, uh, the breast bones and shatter him, and then he dissolves into sand, which he is, that's all he is. Yeah. And uh, I gotta do that or else I'm fucked because it bite me in the neck. And then I'll live forever. <laughs> really it's a win-win situation. It's not the worst outcome that you uh, have eternal life. And you get to be a cool Dracula yourself. <laughs> and this is one thing about Draculas. Nobody cooler than a fucking Dracula. Like, Dracula, oh man, you can get ladies. Like, you can be the handsomest dude, like, in this audience. And you could be with a lady and you go, I'm very, you know, confident about myself. My girl loves me, and I'm a very handsome man. And then a Dracula walks in, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Dracula's gonna fuck my girlfriend. God <laughs> yeah, damn it. It's too bad, but that's the way it goes. Dracula's just so bad. Ladies love Dracula's the way, uh, same way, uh, you know, uh, babies love stray dogs. <laughs> Oh, well, no, I'm just saying, on account of that, I could 
crew made one trip like that. Because every time I go in there, the smoke seems thicker. And like a different color. Like now it's almost like a green color or something like that. And it's so thick. But anyway, is this a reporter or something? No, I understand. Okay. Well, hey, any, any uh, word on that sandwich? <laughs> I asked you, don't you remember? <laughs> I'm very hungry. I don't get paid. I don't get paid money. I don't, you know, nobody pays me money. You know, I've had this job for five years. <laughs> I made any uh, money. But no, I, 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 I need a dog. You know, run in. Oh, and then, oh, ouch, oh, some fire landed on my head. <laughs> oh, man, my head's on fire. Okay. That's cool. I got the dog. Right on. Here you go, honey. There's the dog. That's not the dog you like? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go back in because I'm very, very hungry. And, I, you know, I feel like, like, I'm just going to. Hey, sir, uh, remember on me? I dragged you out of the fire. Give a sandwich. Anything at all? You need to eat? No? You don't? I should get a job. I suppose. Let's get a fucking job. That's what people tell people that don't get a job, don't have. Homeless people all the time. Get a fucking job. <laughs> Just go get a job. Go to some. Go to an interview and uh, you know, write down that you're um, you haven't had a job ever, <laughs> and that you uh, have mental illnesses, <laughs> and that you piss and shit in your pants all the time. <laughs> You ever think you're doing that? <laughs> so just sitting here in a lab of luxury, free money from you. You gotta try to love people. It's like the hardest thing to do in the world. People think it's easy, but you know, it uh, is not easy. <laughs> But uh, I love you guys, but that's uh, because I have a reason to. Because you're nice, and when I look in your eyes, I, s I, I see things, you know. And uh, I love my mom and stuff. My mom is my hero because she loves, like, I'm trying to love, you know, that's my goal in life now, is to love as much as I can, I'm trying to follow the scriptures. I don't think I could ever love my enemy, you know, they say love thine enemy. And that's really hard. Because it's your enemy. <laughs> so, you know, the guy's fucking trying to cut your head off. So you're like, oh, you seem like a good guy, but you're not trying my head off and stuff, because I have people, you know, that depend on me and stuff. Oh, you're still cutting my head off. Hey, I wish you had just a big knife. <laughs> What's your name, anyway? <laughs> oh, you got my head off. Jeez, I wish you hadn't done that. Now my head's over there. And uh, still, you seem like a nice guy. Except for the part where you chop my head off. I can't be that big a person. I'm just not. <laughs> it would be wonderful, you know, it would be a wonderful thing. But I, I think I'm just going to try to, because people go like, I love my newborn. You go, well, goddamn, of course, that's your kid. You created him. You took a doll to come and made it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like just like you. So, yeah. So, of course, you're going to love that, you know. That's not love, you know. Or people go like, I love my, I got a new girlfriend, she's 19, oh, man. 
just love like you wouldn't. And I'm like, does she blow me all the time? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not that hard to love. Me. <laughs> if you love strangers, you know, just everyone, you can just try. That's what I'm trying to do. Just give everybody, just give the whole world a hug. You know, just try to. Uh, it sounds modeling, you know, it sounds stupid. But um, I think that, like my mom, you know, she's like that. She really loves all people that she meets. And she lives with me. And her eyes just shine love. You know, Stevie, you know, Stevie, that's my mom. And there's not a trace of irony in her face, you know. And she, she'll, she'll come out, she'll leave my apartment, come back, go, I met the most interesting lady in the whole world at, at the grocery store. And she told me the funniest story about a pumpkin. And then uh, she tells me that's a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but meanwhile, I wish I was her. Or she was me. Um, because, you know, it's just, she's just lucky. Uh, but I'm trying, you know, you gotta do this step by step, just try, you know. So I'm trying with homeless people because I'm so, you know, I just, I just pass homeless people. And then here they are, their fellow, you know, like, because I'm, I, I believe in God, you know, so I believe that all people are, are immortal. <laughs> so when you look at things that way, it changes your, your, your viewpoint. You know, you don't go, that's a filthy animal. You know, the person you go, that's an immortal being. You know? So, uh, but still, I can't get, uh, I still can't be good. I don't know why, I just can't. So I walk by homeless people. And I feel bad, even for selfish reasons, I should give money, so I don't feel bad. But, um, but I do feel bad. So I walk by, this is the homeless guy that lives near my house, I walk by and the guy's like, you got a dollar? I go, I got no fucking dollar. And he's like, there's a dollar falling out of your pocket. I'm like, oh, that, that's my dollar. <laughs> that's my for gum, that's my gum. So I go to the store and buy a bunch of gum. <laughs> And then I walk home, and, uh, and uh, the same guy's there, he's like, hey, you got a dollar or a gum or something? And I'm like, I got fucking shit, get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? I don't like you. I hate you. You're not even good as me, you know, you're a good person. You know, you live on the street. Look, you eat like coffee studded melon rind. <laughs> hey, hey, you got me. Anyways, you know, that's not good. I don't want to end up being raped by the devil for all the time. <laughs> I'm not being a good guy. That's how I live my life. I don't want to be raped by the devil. Bro. <laughs> Just do the best I can for that not to happen. Now, there might be no doubt, it might be completely wrong. But, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not really strong enough to be an atheist. You know, I tell the students, I'm not like, smart enough to be an atheist. I, I need that. Uh, I need God, you know, I just, it's just something I need in, uh, in my life. And uh, if you tell somebody you're uh, <coughs> religious or Christian or something, you may as well be, say you're a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Because I try to tell them about love. I'm like, you guys know about love? No, war, religion. Yeah, what about love? It's like, no, war, 
rock, stone it. It's not all that's more stone it. But, um, but there's no use, you know. Like, I don't want to be preaching, or right? I hope this doesn't come across preaching. But you ain't getting to heaven without Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Now, people wonder why Christians are preaching. You know, you know, what the hell is that? It's because it says it in the book. You got to do it. You got to tell people. You know? It's not my idea. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> personally, I, it would be fun for me to be in heaven all happy. Why should my friends get raped by the devil? <laughs> That was what I would do. <laughs> but I'm not big enough person, you know. <laughs> so, so. I think if I was an atheist, though, I'd go, I'm going to sit in this chair forever. Watch Bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my life. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do nothing ever. <laughs> the last thing I would do would go would be to try to get other people to be atheists too, so we could talk about it. That'd be my <laughs> my least favorite thing ever. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, excuse me, uh, you with the glimmer of hope in your eyes. Here, I gotta tell you something. I'd like to let you in on something. You were born, you get old, sick, and die, and then dirt. <laughs> you want to talk about it? We can all go and talk about it. Me and my friends fucking talk about it all the goddamn time. It's all I ever talk about. It. It's a lot of fun. I go, fuck it, I'm watching the women. <laughs> I watch Be Witched on the, uh, you know how you have those channels where they see old shows? Those are my favorite, like, because I'm an old man, so I watch, like, uh, Matt Lott. Like, I never lost the case. Sweet's <laughs> Company, and so on. And, uh, Bionic Man is my favorite part, yeah. One time, I saw a thing, that my phone was going. Uh, one time I saw a thing where the uh, where the, watch the guys going get the fuck off stage. Right? <laughs> hey, Dylan, how you doing, bud? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, buddy, what's up? Oh, good. I'm gonna put you on speaker. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Dylan? Hey, what's up? Write some funnier jokes, Dylan! I'm doing uh, uh, some stand-up. One fella don't care for me too much. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I was talking about, because none of 
know that it's, uh, you know, important. <laughs> I love my boy, I got <laughs> But um, um, I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed to have love. I'm so lucky, you know, sometimes I don't deserve that. Pardon me, do the what? The Willie Nelson, that joke that people sang? I never understood that joke. <laughs> <laughs> the person goes, a good blonde. Yeah. Oh, there's a joke that says, what's the worst thing uh, that uh, you can hear when you're blowing Willie Nelson? <laughs> I'm not Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand that too. Because, because in the premise they go, like, you get like so many lights. You get usually like one light now, and it's like, like a fucking disco ball. Um, I don't understand that joke at all because. Uh, they say, what's the worst thing that could happen when you're being blown by Willie Nelson? Or when you're blowing Willie Nelson? Well, you're blowing Willie Nelson. You're not blowing anyone else. <laughs> so, Willie Nelson would be lying. <laughs> yeah. The joke would have to be like, you know, uh, what's the worst thing that could happen when you're blowing someone you thought was Anyways, <laughs> 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 guys, I gotta go, but, uh... This is what I'm talking about with love. Like right now, love, because all we got is the moment, right? We got the moment. This exact moment. Later, uh, home, you know, empty hope. That's what the future is. <laughs> well, I remember a while of hope. I'm like, when the fuck is ever worked ever? <laughs> and then you go, what's that movie? It's going to be good. Not nah, shit like every other fucking movie. <laughs> Hope that lady licks my balls. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hoping that. That never happened ever. Uh, but anyway, that's the future, and then uh, that's hope. And then the past, that's just your memory. It's all wrong, and you get everything wrong. So it's this moment. Meanwhile, they're flashing. So I right now, like, I love, and I just love, and as soon as I go over there, they'll be like, oh, that fucking light, didn't you see the lights? I'm like, yeah. I didn't see him. I'm going to say, I didn't see the fucking lights. Oh, what the fuck you're talking about? Why do you put the fucking lights where I can see him, motherfucker? I'm going to have a cigarette. Not in this goddamn building, you're not. Go on a slush. That's where we smoke the slush, you know. There in the slush smoking. So anyways, I'm trying to say that uh, that's why it's hard to leave there. I mean, leave to there from here, because even in my fucking periphery, I can see these motherfuckers. <laughs> and then when I look at you, I love and everything like that. And we all should be able to love, for God's sake. Hey, think about this. Uh, we're a human being, the top of the food, most evolved things. Dogs can love. Dog, you ever, when do you ever see a dog not love, you know? When do you ever see a dog go, I don't, I don't care for that one, you know? A dog loves everybody, you know? That's a dog. That's why I don't understand when people don't like dogs. I'm not a dog person. You go, really? That, thing that's just only fur and love? Oh, I don't know, personally, I don't understand. But, like, you wake up and your dog's like, hey, I love you, I love you, can I, can I kiss you? You're like, yeah, man, kiss me, it's cool. 
<laughs> yeah, I love you so much. That's so cool that you love me. I love you more every day. I love you so much. Come on, let's play a game. I go, we'll play a game a little while. Oh, you're still kissing me. That's so cool. Yeah, I was just kind of kissing you because I love you so I love you so much. And you're like, get the fuck away for a second. Would you? Yeah. Are you doing some space? A little bit? And the doctor's like, no, I'm sorry. I'll stand over here. I stand here. I understand I did wrong, but listen, the next time you want me to love you, I'll run over and love you. I'll stand at this exact spot, and I'll run over and love you. Is that cool? You go, I give us something. So dogs, you know, like I say, unconditionally, of course there's conditions to love. Like, you know, if you go home and your wife's having sex with 200 men, all of you know, you're not gonna go, I just came home to say I love you, honey. So are you trying to break some kind of record or something? I don't know what's going on here, but I just want you to know that this condition that exists doesn't affect my love for you. So we have all kinds of conditions on everything we do, but not a dog. They love it, you know. I read that Hitler had a dog. Now Hitler does not deserve love. The dog loved Hitler more than anybody. Dog wake up in the morning, where is Hitler? <laughs> he had to work, he's at work. God yeah, damn. I love you too there, Goebbels. Where Hitler is the greatest man who ever lived. Where is he? Where is he? That's not a good sentence out of context. <laughs> Hopefully I'm coming to YouTube. That on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> that would look bad. On YouTube, and then asked that was, I want a dog. Vampire dog! That's right. <laughs> One of the greatest movies ever made. <laughs> oh, I see the light. I should go. Listen. <laughs> the name of the pale Nazarene. Love is all. God bless you.